Hear NFL legends, players, coaches, and media members from around the country sharing their insights and stories with us year-round. Here on Thursday night, tailgate, 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 tail, 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 tailgate. And now back with us on Thursday Night Tailgate in his regular weekly time slot is former Patriots Pro Bowl running back Tony Collins. Tony, how are you tonight, my friend? Hi, Tony. Do- doing fantastic. How you doing, Chris and Bob? Ah, oh, we're we're good. Bob's playing hurt tonight, but uh, yeah. we're doing pretty well. <laughs> so, Tony, it's uh, it's time to get our official Super Bowl picks. Now, before we do that, you had an opportunity to play in a Super Bowl, Super Bowl 20 against the 85 Bears, and we know that unfortunately didn't go the way you wanted it to go. But uh, I wanted to get your thoughts in advance. Like, so here we are. It's Thursday. What was it like the Thursday, Friday, Saturday for you as you were getting ready to play in that Super Bowl? The, the biggest thing was the the height. Uh, you know, it, it, it was it was just you know it was getting it was getting close to it and getting. Close down to where you get all the your, your, your T's crossed and your your eyes dotted and and but the, the major thing was we we're, we're, we're in New Orleans and so you know you got your family members that you got to take care of and so I have a big family so I had to take care of my family and, and making sure everybody's got their ticket and everybody's doing what they're supposed to do and, and being what they're supposed to be and and you know that 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 for me was a, a big deal because I, you know I, I'm from a family of 16 so you know, everybody, everybody was asking for tickets. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a big thing for me. But as far as, as far as the week goes, you know, when you're at practice, you know, it's just, just like practice. You know, you're, you're going through everything that, that you know what to do and what, what got you here and you're feeling confident and, and you're just ready to play the game. And once that, once that, that, that game starts, man, it's, 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 it's on. So, but, uh, a Thursday night, Friday night, you know, you you really knowing, man, this is it, man. We got about two two or three more days uh, before we play the biggest game of our lives. And did you get good rest the night before that Saturday night? Could you sleep? Was it just like any other night, and you, and you rested well, or are you just thinking about it, waiting for the game to start the next day? Me, uh, me as a player, I never rest, I never rested well, even doing a regular season game uh, the night before. I would always. I would get in the I would be well, you know, we have curfew at eleven o'clock. I probably wouldn't get to sleep till like one o'clock. Uh just you know, you you're thinking about I, I would go over the you know, over the plays and you know, visualizing what you're gonna do in the game, uh, making the right cut, making the right move, visualize yourself catching the pass, visualize yourself uh, making the block and going through the vision. So you get kinda hyped up when you're doing that. And so I wouldn't I wouldn't fall asleep until probably like one o'clock every Every game, it just it didn't even matter for a Super Bowl. So it was it was a regular thing for me, uh, getting in bed about eleven, going to sleep about one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you get to Sunday morning, did that day drag on? Did it seem like it took forever for you know for game time to start? Or are you so busy that morning that the, the day flies by and then it's ready to kick off? That day dragged on because usually you know in regular season and even in, in the playoffs, you know your games at one o'clock. Or, or or four o'clock. You know now the game the game's at six thirty. Now you got to wait all day, uh, and now you're visualizing all day, and so you're getting hyped again through the day, and you try to relax. You know you listen to music. You you know you you, you try to do something that kind of takes your mind off it for a little while. But no, the the day drags on for a long time, and 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 once you get on that bus ride to the stadium, then you know yeah okay it's time to play. But no, it's it's a long day. Mentally, it's a long day. And when the game gets started, we, we hear so often, you know, hey, after the first play or two or the first hit or two or that sort of thing, then it's just a regular football game. Is that true? Or do, or do you always have in the back of your mind, this isn't just another football game, this is the Super Bowl? Well, actually, it, it, it is probably true once 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 that kickoff is, is, is underway, you, when you're out there playing and, you, and you're going through the plays, it's just like a regular game until you realize, you know, you're sitting – uh, you know, in our situation, when we played the Bears, uh, you know, we, 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 we were in the game. Actually, we, we, we scored first against the Bears. And so, you know, you're, you're really hyped up. And, but after the, after, after, you know, the third, third and fourth quarter, when you know that you're not going to win this game because you're down 46 to three or whatever you're, uh, wherever we were down, 
It's like, man, you know, we're going to lose the Super Bowl. And uh, I, I think I would rather not go out that way <laughs> any, any other time. I would rather have a, I would rather have a close game and, and, and lose it down to the wire than knowing, you know, in the third or fourth quarter that, you know, we're, we're not, we're not going to win this game. But you, you know, you, now you got to go, you still got to go out there and play. You got to give your 100%, but you know, you're not going to win, but still got to give the 100%, which is one of the hardest things to do as a player, knowing that you're not going to win, but you still got to give 100%. All right, fellas, let's let's do it. Let's get our official Super Bowl picks in here, and I want to set the scene for everybody. <laughs> Tony is 48-26-1 on the season. Bob is 47-27-1 on the season, and I'm out of it, 42-32-1. So, Tony, <laughs> you can do no worse than tie for the title. Bob has a tough choice <laughs> because I think he believes the Patriots are going to win the game. But he also knows if he takes the Patriots and he's right about the Super Bowl, he hands you the title. So we got to see which one of those ways does he go. But we're going to start with you, Tone. Patriots are two and a half point favorite in this game, the over under 56 and a half. Now, your boys are five and five in Super Bowls. This is their 11th appearance. Do they go six and five or do they lose two in a row? <coughs> Well, as as you know, Chris, I've never gone against the Patriots at any at any point. Uh, as when I when I make a prediction, and I won't go against the Patriots again this week. The one with my boys, Brady is hot, we're healthy, and we're going to win. And I predict that we will win forty four to twenty four. Wow. A blowout win for the Patriots in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Holy cow. Bob, time is now. Which way are you going? You going for the tie and taking the Rams, or are you going to try to be right in the Super Bowl and take the Patriots? You know, Chris, I've come to grips with the fact that no matter what happens, uh, I, I can't really – I can't picture myself being a loser in a situation because – the referees got the Rams in the Super Bowl. <laughs> not Tony Collins, not me, not anybody else. So I, I, I'm comfortable. With that. So I, so during the, during the week, I said to myself, let's just go for the team you think is going to win. And I've said all season, I, I just think if the Patriots were healthy, uh, I'd never thought they'd be this healthy this late in the year. Uh, and they are still, you know, you read an injury report, yeah, high tower, a little illness, but. For the most part, they are very, very healthy. They know the window is pretty, is closing pretty quickly, at least on this kind of dynasty with the players in place that they have. They have the best offensive line coach, as Tony knows in football, with Skarnack. You have Belichick, there's not much to say about him. Uh, it's gonna come down to Bel uh, Brady not making mistakes. I think Goff will make a mistake or two. Uh, they're just gonna be good. And Michelle, if he runs for a hundred, they win. He probably will. So, I had to score early in the week, and I'm going to stick with it, Chris. The Patriots, 31-24. Wow. All right. Well, there you go, Tony. You're going to be the champ, so congratulations. <laughs> we'll do official there ceremonies Good job. next week, but uh, there you go. I Tony's going to be our prognosticating champ. There you go. <laughs> so for what it's worth, and it's not worth much, but uh, I I'll give you my, my pick, and, Bob, you just talked about it a moment ago. Right, the Patriots, as we talked about last or a couple of weeks ago, are 60 and one since 2000 when they've had a 100 yard rusher. And Sony Michelle had 100 yards in the AFC Championship game, and I expect him to get the ball 20 to 25 times and probably get 100 yards. But here's the most telling stat for me, or the re the reason why I can't go with the Patriots: a tie, or I mean, a win would tie them with the Steelers for the most Super Bowl wins. Right? We know that that, that would make six. Can't have you know that. that. <laughs> if if they win the game, they also would break a tie with the Steelers for the most playoff wins. So we can't have that either. A loss <laughs> would tie Tom Brady with Jim Kelly for the most Super Bowl losses by a quarterback. So we need to get that off of Jim Kelly, who's from Western Pennsylvania. So there's another one. Oh. Right? So there's three reasons why I cannot and will not pick the Patriots to win this game. Right? Now, here's some other little things to throw in there just as some sort of interesting facts, right? 
Rams head coach Sean McVay played against Julian Edelman, oh, by the way, when they were both in college. That tells you how old McVay is, right? He was a wide receiver at Miami of Ohio, and Edelman was a quarterback at Kent State. But um, here, look, here's the thing, right? Interior pressure, we all know the way to beat the Patriots is to get to Brady. Right, and interior pressure from Aaron Donald and then Tom McKinsey is going to do that, right? I mean, you look at Brady's numbers. When he gets pressure off the edge, his passer rating is 118.7. When he gets pressure on the interior, his passer rating 63.1. And we know Donald had 20 and a half sacks this season, so that's what I think the difference of the game is going to be. I think I think Donald gets to Brady a few times. I think he gets Brady off his mark. I think Brady makes a, an uncharacteristic mistake or two. Remember. They should have lost that game to the Chargers. If he Ford's not offside, Patriots lose that game. So because Brady threw a pick. So I'm I'm all on the Rams. I think the Rams win this game. I think they take it thirty to twenty seven and uh wow. and we prevent all of those terrible things from happening. There you have it, Tone. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna wow. it's sort of like I got all my, wow. I'm, I'm a loser, right? I, I lose I lose the title this year. I'm not even a factor at the end, but I'm putting all my chips in and I'm saying I'm going Rams. Rams are going to upset wow. the Patriots again and win this and win this game. So, Tony, before we let you go, let our listeners know the great <laughs> things you do to help kids go to college. TonyFoundation.org, helping the kids in the upstate in New York area go off to college. Are you laughing at me? You, you can't even you, you, can't, you can't even you, get it out, can you? Because you're laughing. <laughs> That's stocked out, Tony College. Uh, there you go, Tony. That is a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tony getting a good laugh on it. All right, Tony. We'll see you next week. Go Rams. Yes, Enjoy the game, game, Tony. Go Rams. Yeah, you guys have a great one. <laughs> Congrats. See you, Tony. Uh, that is former Patriots Pro Bowl running back Tony Collins, and Bob hands him the title for the season prognostication. Right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do, Bob? All right, we've got our Go next guest, Emil Harris, hanging on the line. We're going to get to Emil on the other side of this real quick station break. 